Good morning. So today is $2 Tuesday and I am just about to head out to Goodwill. Goodwill runs a sale every week where a color tag becomes the tag on sale, becomes the item on sale. And they run it a very funny um, way. They run it from Wednesday to Tuesday. So Tuesday is the last day of that color and it turns into anything that color is $2. So I always try to get to the thrift store early because it is the normal mob scene. But that's what I'm up to today. I'm gonna shop all day and try to get as many $2 items as I can. Now, I'm not quite sure if this is the hard goods and the clothing. I'm pressing into clothing right now. We are in fourth quarter. Sales are good. They are fourth quarter sales, but not as good as prior years. But I am not discouraged. I know there are plenty of ups and downs with selling on eBay, and I am quite used to it. All right. I also wanted to thank everybody for all of your comments and encouragement and ideas on what to do with the house. In my last video, if you didn't see that video, I showed that uh, I've had the house painted. It is a beautiful bright white, but I was looking for ideas to break it up and you guys did not disappoint. The ideas are pouring in. I also had a contractor stop by and he gave me this big book. This is Cedar Impressions and I'm thinking of adding, okay, I'm gonna open this up. Kind of like a cedar look shingle to part of the house. Now part of me wants to do a light gray, which many of you suggested, you know, a light gray detailing. Uh, some of you suggested the dark gray to match the front door. And I'm also considering like a wood look. So those three ideas are in the running and it is quite cold here. So I don't even know if they're gonna be able to do this work. I think they are midwinter. So that's what's going on. Let's hit the road. Let's go to Goodwill and see what we can find to flip for a profit. Okay, so I got to Goodwill a little bit early and figured I'd come over to the outlet side. The outlet opens an hour earlier, so at 8 o'clock instead of 9. There's Roger over there scoping out the scene. People pile their carts super high with clothing. A lot of clothing resellers here. Some of them sell in bulk. Look at that cart there. That is huge. That is a lot of pounds of clothes. So while they do have furniture, I think the majority of the sellers here sell clothing. Look at this cart. That's got to weigh well over 100 pounds, all those heavy coats. All right, let's take a look and see what things look like. It's a Christmas sweater. Who's making this? Ha holiday time. I was going to say happy time. <laughs> I think I need another cup of coffee. Oh, look at these boards. These would be so fun to decorate like a wall with them, like in a game room. Very fun. Quite heavy though. So everything here is $1.69 a pound, whether you buy a heavy book or a light cashmere sweater, which makes no sense, but okay. Anybody need a Christmas tree? I don't think I'm gonna do much shopping here this morning. I'm not really in the mood to dig. I'm going to be focusing on the $2 items. Now, if you think about it, a lot of these items are going to be over a pound. So the other side, the $2 items are going to be better, better priced, cheaper than the items in the bins. Just crazy. Ocean City hoodie. So I'm thinking this is over a pound. This is one of the heavyweight sweatshirts. Kind of nice though. Wouldn't mind this for myself. Size small. All right, let's go over to the other side and see what we can find. Okay, so I'm just turning on the camera basically the first time because it's been a little wild in this store. Roger just told me he found this quilt. Look how beautiful this is. This is all handmade, now by machine, but really nice. So I asked him if it was handmade and what did you say? <laughs> <laughs> it says, where is that? Not to be sold. <laughs> <laughs> so it's Project Linus. This must be like some kind of charitable where they make blankets for safety so children feel feels probably secure through yeah. some kind of trauma or whatever. So now here's the dilemma. Do we get it? No. For five dollars and sell it? It says not to be sold. You no. have to give this to a child. No. You're putting it back. Yeah. You're gonna put not it right there, there in May. No. <laughs> <Quite sure>. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He was ready to put it in the men's section. I am putting it back though. 
<laughs> oh, look at your sneakers. What sneakers are these? Where'd you get? Oh, these are nice. What? Are these Air Force Ones? Oh, boy, these are nice. What size are these? Wow, those are really nice. Air Force One. 25 bucks. Nice. Did you look them up? No, I just got them. They were sitting right up. Did I ask you if you looked them up five times? <laughs> they were just sitting right up, right up top there. All right, so some of this I'm putting back. Sorry I didn't show you, you know, me finding it on the shelf. Sometimes it doesn't happen that way. Four dollars. I'm going to put these back. These are brass steins, but I did grab them. I got a lot of our generation. It's the school set. Now, I'm kind of on the fence about it because this moves slow on Facebook and I really don't want to ship it, but I am going to pick it up for five dollars. I think that's a really good deal. Here is a bat. Don't go away. Come back. I'm, hang I'm hanging the quilt up. <laughs> I'm getting rid of it. Off my hands. Clean hands. Yep. Clean hands, no quilt. Is this anything? Uh, I don't think so. Okay. Yeah. No good. I don't think so. It's Can got a big den here too. Okay, I didn't even notice that. Yeah, I don't think so. Alright, so now I have to walk all the way to the other side and put this back <laughs> in the proper place. All right, I'm going to put these steins back, too. I found this dolphin statue. I thought this was interesting. $7. And I have to look it up. Hurdling the Waves by O'Bara. A.J. O'Bara. The Cousteau. Oh, that's Jacques Cousteau Society. Looks like 1995. All right, so that's what's going on. A lot of his clothing. I do have some hard goods under there. A uh, set of drapes. Anything with blue tag is $2. So I'm getting a lot of new swimsuits and some clothing. And that is what is happening. What does Roger have in his cart? Let's spy on his cart. All clothes. He did get a backgammon set. Really nice one. And I'm going to put the bat back. I took that. Those aren't any good? Oh, no, no, the oh. bat. Oh, oh. I, I, looked <laughs> I was up. shocked. I'm like, the sneakers aren't any good. I looked it up just to make sure. Okay, are you doing $2 Tuesdays, yes, or what are you doing I'm here? Doing you are. I They're all blue tag. Almost all blue. All blue. Good job. Yeah. Good job, good job. And then, uh, nothing special. Okay, yeah, but for two bucks. But I did get a couple good ones in here. So sometimes Goodwill price is so high that the stuff sits here. We love that. $12.99. Yeah, so that's high, but now we're getting it for two bucks, so that is good. Another eleven ninety nine. Yeah, Under Armour. Mm -hmm. What does the M stand for? I gotta look that up. I think it's Mavericks or Okay. Another Under Armour. See, so they priced it twelve ninety nine, which is high, and now two dollar Tuesdays, you get it for two bucks. Can't beat that. We like when they price too high. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Cutter and Buck. No, Cutter and Buck is a golf brand, isn't it? Okay. Okay. Some guy's going to want to wear that. Look at this. Roger's doing a whole clothing haul for you. <laughs> Talk about getting comfortable. This the normal okay. Nike and Under Armour, but for yeah. two hours. Do you sell a lot of Under Armour? Yeah. <laughs> I'm being silly. This one's uh, Dallas Cowboys. Yeah. Mm, Two dollars. You're still gonna get it. Yeah, even okay. Though even though I'm an Eagles fan. <laughs> Are you wanting to go past? Oh, okay. We're just taking up the whole aisle here. <laughs> it's like a party in Goodwill. We had snacks. I'm gonna move over. Cute. Little kids. Yeah, there is good stuff. Not, oh, okay. Not two dollars though. Vineyard vines, five fifty. I think that's high for children's. Yeah. I think I'm gonna get it though. You are gonna get it. Yeah, okay. Good, good luck. <laughs> <laughs> good luck with selling that. All right, guys. So that is what's going on here. Like I said, I'm gonna put the bat back and the brass steins. I have to look this up. The OG set I'm getting and probably all of this. All right, we're gonna keep going. Okay, it's getting ridiculously hard to film in thrift stores. They're all so crowded here in Pennsylvania because they are pretty good. Brass candlesticks, 
I like the shape of these, but lately I've only been picking up the ones that are marked Baldwin because those sell the best for me. So I'm going to leave those for somebody else. Lots of inventory coming out and just amazing stuff. I have never seen this before. This is made out of clay. Is there a maker's mark or did somebody hand make that? Interesting. The top is a little bit bowed. So I turned on the camera to film something and right next to me, somebody was testing a dust buster. It was very loud. So we're just gonna go down a different aisle. And I hope I'm not screaming at you guys. We see a lot of this in Pennsylvania. I guess people really like the cutesy stuff back in the day. Easter thing's still out. Goodwill used to put out the holiday that was coming up. Now they just put out every holiday all the time. Probably because they don't have the space to hold it back. Wow, this is a very big margarita glass. A green glass tray. There's some bathroom tile. Does anybody want to do a project? <laughs> okay, this is beautiful. Is this, oh, this is a light shade. Oh, that's pretty. I don't really need a light shade, but boy, that's a nice one. It feels nice quality too. $3.99. <laughs> Look at that face. She looks like she's having a dilemma. That is so funny. Is she a bell? Oh, that's the dilemma. She's lost her clapper. <laughs> that is really cute. Don't know who's making this. That is adorable. Love that little face. Here is a little trinket dish back here, 1995 with Santa on it. I do like that. Riata, Germany. Let's see what the bottom looks like. $1.99. Very cute. Okay, so, so far, hard good wise, I don't have a lot. Roger took my other cart with the clothing in it, so I do have a full cart of clothing. Just seeing if anything is going to catch my eye here. What is this piece? Wow, that's heavy. I'm not quite sure what this is. Looks like seahorses threshold. Ha, huh, it's a decorative jar to keep her stuff in. Everybody's hanging out together. <laughs> Santa, the Easter Bunny. What is this piece here? Made in Japan. Another trinket dish. I have quite a few of these in inventory right now, so I'm not going to pick that one up. What is this basket? Looks just like a mass-produced one. Okay, we have a full Halloween aisle. Don't see anything great. Corn dishes. Do people really use corn dishes? I'm not quite sure. Okay, we're gonna go over to this side here. This is the end. The end of the store, the end of the earth. $2.99, that is very pretty. I don't feel like peeling off the sticker. So I'm not gonna get that. What is this down here? Oh, that's adorable. Okay, the frame is breaking apart, but that looks to be a photograph. Is that a photograph? I don't want to cut myself. Let's see what the back looks like. Oh, a paper backing. Very good sign. The paper is old. Huh. I wonder if somebody would want that. I wonder what year this is from. I wonder if the people bought it from Disney World. I'm tempted to take it apart because it's already so damaged but i haven't purchased it yet so i won't do that very cute so i'm seeing this picture i think this is Rueven Nouveau. it is like a, a satin glass or a frosted glass i'm going to say a satin glass with a drip painted design this is a small one i've seen these bigger five dollars now i will run a comp for them i don't think these sell through quickly but that is one of the first times I've seen this size in real life. I'm gonna leave it for somebody else. I imagine this might bring $30, but this would take a very long time to sell. Okay, so these are what our carts are looking like. What'd you find, sweetie? 
<gasps> Where'd you get these? I didn't know if they were any good. They're ten dollars each. Wow, they do have some damage to them. Seems like something that would be sold in like TJ Maxx or Ross. They are quite nice, but ten dollars each. That's a little bit high. Let me make sure I put them back so they're okay. I like your parrot lamp. <laughs> You're just wrecking the place. I just know about these. Your parrot lamp is very cool. What does that say on the bottom? I can't even read that because it's upside down. Resin parrot branch. Seventy-nine huh? Yeah, I think it's too high for these, and those are really breakable, it looks to be, so for shipping. All right, guys, I think that's it for this part of the video. We're going to head to another store. $2 Tuesday was good. Did pick up quite a bit, and we're going to go on to another Goodwill and see if we can find more blue items. Okay, I'm in the store five minutes. We are in Shillington. And I think I saw this the other day. This is like a domed dish. $2.99. I'm wondering if it's cracked. And I think this is just so pretty. Did I show this to you guys before? Oh, it does have a crack. Figured it did. I love this. Very shabby chic. Very pretty. All right, what aisle shall we go down? Let's do the red. Haven't done the red in a while. You know, it's funny because in the years past, I used to find a lot for Christmas. I am talking a lot. And lately, it doesn't really seem like there's too many holiday decent things to pick up. Well, this is very odd. Very, very odd. Embassy. Quality products. Anytime a product says that it's quality, it's probably not quality. <laughs> now, this looks like a vintage carving set. That is kind of cool. Who's making that? wonder if this is like Sheffield or... Huh, I wonder why the fork is... That's so different. All the writing is so ridiculously small. I might put this in my cart, actually. I kind of think this is lovely. And did I say the price on it? $2.99. Let's go for that. I'm in a mood. All right, continuing down the red aisle, see this little thing here, little bowls. Oh, this is Pioneer Woman. Now, some of her bigger pieces can still bring really good money. The tiny bowls mixed in with other things. I'm not gonna go for that, but I do love Pioneer Woman, uh, the bigger things. The big casserole dishes are cool. And she is Ree Drummond, if you don't know who Pioneer Woman is, but I'm sure everybody knows. She is super popular. God Family Country. Set of coasters. Okay. Cork backed, $2.99. Very like primitive style, early American. I'm gonna go for those too. Put those in the cart. All right, so we are just starting out and this is <laughs> the drink of the day. You guys often ask what I drink. This is green tea, and I get this from Panera. Commercial for Panera. I am part of the Sip Club, so I think it's $9 a month, and it's unlimited drinks per month, so definitely worth it. I used to drink coffee during the daytime, but I'm not really big on coffee during the daytime, so I usually drink green tea and just sip on it. What are these plates here? Somebody unwrapped them. Oh dear, these are pretty. Oh, how pretty is that? Ooh, I really like that. $4.99 for the stack. Let's see if I can kind of wiggle the tape off for us. I'm going to set that one down there. That is beautiful. What does plate number two look like? Wow, I like these. This one's a little bit plainer. And then the one on the bottom. Oh, looks like it's pink again. There we go. How good am I? One-handed. <laughs> oh, these are really sweet. Okay, do I want these plates? Hmm. 
Decisions, decisions. Okay, so this one does have a marking. Carlsbad, BFHS. Oh, I've seen that label before. I'm not crazy about that one. But this one is so beautiful. Boy, that'd be pretty for a tea party with little cucumber sandwiches. I'm gonna give that thought. I think I'm talking myself into it. Okay, we dropped a basket. Let's put that back. Okay. Aren't you proud of me that I didn't bring you down the brown aisle right away? Are you guys sick of the brown aisle? I do like the brown aisle because it's my highest profit aisle. So if you're in the thrift stores and you're looking for items that are going to be the most profitable in hard goods, I think my biggest profit comes from the brown aisle and that's probably why I like it so much. What is this? Oh, okay. If we put it that way, like that would be for a votive. That is very different. A cake plate. Gee, that's pretty. Okay, who is this? Gibson. Okay, so Gibson is notoriously not high profit for me. Now, if you sell Gibson and you're doing well with it, share what kind of things you're selling because I hardly ever make money with Gibson. I've only tried it a couple of times. Okay, let's go back down this side. Oh, another crock pot. Back in the day, the orange ones with the mushrooms brought a lot of money. Back in the day, meaning 10 years ago. And I think everybody caught on to it and now <laughs> you can't give them away. Oh, what is this? Huh, oh, it's a little planter. I thought for a second it was a coffee mug. That would be funny. Oh, this part of the store looks very quiet, which I love. Not too many people. Okay, let's go on to the brown aisle. So yesterday I was working on photographing and listing and I photographed the brown teak salad bowl set that I picked up in Prussian Street Arcade. I just listed it last night. Boy, is that thing pretty. And although I didn't find it in a thrift store, um, I just think that that brown salad bowl set is probably one of the prettiest I've found. So very happy with that. I will try to remember to include a screenshot if you didn't see that video. Oh, little baby angels. Okay, why do I love faces that are painted beautifully like that? I don't really have angels around my house. Oh, and it's a his and hers. Okay, with a broken finger. Oh, that could be Roger and that could be me. <laughs> Roger's got a broken finger. I'll have to tell him. You can tell I'm overtired. I have been working way too hard. Looking forward to a few days off. I don't know that I'm taking a few days off, but I'm looking forward to it. Probably Thanksgiving and maybe Black Friday. I might just like put on a good movie and sit at my desk and list, which is very relaxing. Okay, we are seeing what, a little box. That just looks like a cheap imitation leather, faux leather top. Oh, this is cute. Look at the fish. Huh, that is very different. Okay, so it's a wall hanging. That would be really cute for a bathroom. $3.99, but there's no maker on it. Hmm. It seems to have a little bit of staining right there. Okay, this is not a swung vase, but it almost looks like, um, I don't know. I don't know what maker because I don't know glass, but kind of pretty. Okay, Christmas tree for $60. Am I being naive? Isn't that high for an artificial tree? I really haven't priced. I'm guessing this is like maybe a seven foot tree. I haven't priced one of these in quite a while, but $60 for used tree. That seems really high. Oh, is it used or is it new? I'm seeing plastic inside there. It might be a new one. Let's see what the tag says. Just says $60. Hmm, do Roger and I want a tree? I think Roger said we, we're going into the forest to cut one down. But 
That is quite nice, but 60 sounds high. Wow, this is a very big cookie jar. <laughs> wow, that's a big one. Let's see who's making this. Oh, certified international. Womp womp. This wouldn't bring more than 25, 20 or 25 dollars. Thank goodness, because I really don't want to ship a cookie jar. He does have a super sweet face though. Very fun. Okay, we're gonna keep going. So this is the end aisle that is the blue aisle. It's a little picture. Is this Falls Graph? This is beverage server, Falls Graph. Farmer's Market. Oh, that's kind of cute to keep your utensils in. $3.99. Huh, I wonder if somebody, oh, it has a crack. I was gonna say, I wonder if somebody would want that. I think I would have picked that up to, you know, keep wooden spoons in by your stove, but unfortunately it has damage. Okay, so this is the Christmas Isler 2. <laughs> oh, this is really sweet, $2.99. Oh, Cracker Barrel. All right, I think I'm taking this. I really like this little spoon rest. I don't think it has any cracks in it. Kind of got a red theme going on in my cart. What is that about? Okay, I'm gonna see what else there is. It's a little Merry Christmas sign, looks to be hand-painted. I would love to find some mid-century modern decorations. That would be fun. There's a swan, $4.99. Okay, he's almost good. That would be very pretty with like a holiday decoration coming out. What else? There's a Nutcracker 2009 who's lost his hand. <laughs> he looks like a scarecrow. He is a scarecrow. Very fun. Holiday collection, carved look. Okay, so she's like a plastic resin. Okay, do not look at my fingernails. My appointment is tomorrow. I'm running a little behind. <laughs> what are these? Oh, these are those paper bows. Huh, $1.99. I think that's probably the price they are in the retail store. It's a little house. Oh, it's a train station. Let's turn this around and see what this is. Sarah, plain and tall. I don't know who's making this. Is this Hallmark? Oh, it's Hallmark. Whoops, dropped it. I'm gonna look this up. This little, this little haze train station thing. Let me grab the box. I dropped it. And what are they getting for this? $2.99. We're gonna put that in the cart and run a comp on that. Sometimes these things can bring better money than what you think. Sometimes I find items that I'm not really excited about. Here, there are three stacked. This is Winston Select Tobacco Ashtrays. So they are like an advertisement, but there's three of them. And I'm pretty sure each one would sell for around $10. So for a $3 buy-in, I would be turning it into $30 once they all sell but it's not really my thing. Not really excited about selling them, but hmm, three into 30 is pretty interesting. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this in my cart and listing it is very easy because you list one. I take pictures of all three, but then the listing just gets the pictures changed out. So um, fairly easy. So these are going right in my cart because this is all about the profit. So a few wood items just came out and you know me and wood, love wood. I have no idea what these are. Not a clue. What are these? Okay, so they are round circles that are like carved. There's no maker's mark on them. And along with them, this came out. Now they're not necessarily together, but boy, is this interesting. On the back, it says Dansk, which is a very nice company, Malaysia but it doesn't say what it's for. So leave a comment down below. I am very tempted to buy this, of what this is. $2.99 for the flat thing, and the sticks and the hoop things are $4.99. I have no idea what this is. I can't even take a guess. All right, guys, I'm gonna leave it in my cart for now because I have to find out what this is. 
my mind is saying, what is this? Very cool. Okay, so Roger came over and I said, what is this? And of course he took a picture. You did Google image search? Yeah. Okay. And what are they saying it is? Uh, a grate? No. Kind of grate for bread or something, wasn't it? Something to do with bread or maybe a trivet. But of course I'm buying it. <laughs> We're not quite sure what these things are. You have to guess at what these are. And they come with these sticks. I couldn't even take a guess on that one. <laughs> you just yeah, take yeah. The sticks and, you and twirl them? Twirl them. I have no idea. That's a lot of work to put in something just to twirl a loop. <laughs> All right, guys. And I also found right around the same area this gorgeous bowl, planter, ice bucket thing. I'm telling you, it doesn't get any more real than this. This is how I shop. I find things and I say, wow, this is really good quality. And I'm going to buy it. For $3.99, how do you not buy this? Somebody's going to want this once I find out what it is, right? What do you think this is? It's a hat. <laughs> <laughs> it's too dirty. You, you draw the line, right? Yeah, oh, it's too, too dirty. I thought it was because dirty. you didn't want to make a fool of yourself. <laughs> no, too dirty. You would look like one of those people. What kind of hats are those? Fez, a Fez hat. Come on, put it on your head. <laughs> doesn't stay it's like a it's like a pot very That's interesting like a, you're a good sport a <laughs> all right in the cart it goes to have them okay well i'm filling my cart with things i know nothing about roger got this for 3.99 so they're native american little figures but they're each individual individual package. case you're gonna open them or no See, I don't I have no idea what they are. You're opening the bag? You're a rule breaker? <laughs> we are both rule breakers. You have to know what you're buying. I mean, we're always careful to put it back. Well, they really have that tape on there. It also has some, um, like, Ninja Turtle stickers in there, which is very odd. Okay, so first we have these guys coming out, but this is what we're interested in. Little cases, it's a choking hazard. These look like they're for, he's got a key? Yeah. What? Are, they're all individual factors. And they all have a key. What yeah. is the key about? Are they all the same? They're all the same, aren't they? Yeah. They almost seem like if you had like a, what do they call those, like a model set up, like a town or a diorama? Yeah. Is it called diorama with the little figures? I don't think that has anything to do with them. Yeah, but save the stickers. We all know stickers can do well. Is there a date on the stickers? Yeah. I'm going back in for the stickers. I'm grabbing your stickers. Oh, there's a date, 1997, does that say? Yeah, 1987. 87, oh, those are probably good. Uh, 1987. Oh, look at them. New condition. Okay, so this is the Bad Guy series. See this guy here in the middle on the sticker? Actually, 92 is the latest date. Okay. There's three dates on We it. liked 87 better. Yeah, 92. That's not this guy, is it? No. That guy's not that guy? Almost looks similar. It is. Oh, there's writing on the back of him. Thank God you have good vision. What date is he? 93 and 99. Okay, definitely worth Very a pickup. Writing. Warner Brothers, though. Really? Yeah. Is Ninja Turtles Warner Brothers? No. Who makes Ninja Turtles? <laughs> <laughs> I'm testing I'm you now. I don't know. Alright, but a really good pickup for. What did we say this was? A $3.99. This says MWS. Whoever MWS. Yeah, I don't know who that is. I think it's worth that though. Oh yeah, absolutely. Thing. Good find. Alright, so after looking at his bag of figures, he said, Do you want this? <laughs> Some girls get flowers, which I get those too. Some girls get reverse weave big logo champion <laughs> applique hoodies. Look at the tag on this. This one should do really well. This is older. I'm going to show you the tag, if I can get my... See this champion, reverse weave? 
And when it has the big logo, I love these. Absolutely love these. I don't know what date they're from. Is this 90s maybe? But I will take that. Thank you, sweetie. Really good, going right in my cart. So I realized as I started unpacking the card tonight and bringing everything into the house that I forgot to show this adorable set. This is Awesome Academy. This is our generation doll, the schoolhouse set. Look how cute this is. I got this for $5. I was pretty excited. This was one of my first finds when I got in the second store and I forgot to show it to you guys. So here it is. I will be flipping this on Facebook Marketplace, local pickup. I'm not quite sure what it'll bring. A Probably, I'm guessing off the top of my head, maybe $30, something like that. And I paid $4.99. So I just wanted to include this last little bit of footage to show you guys what this looks like. And thank you for watching. Hit that like and subscribe button. And as always, go out and get what's yours.